Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelox. Welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. It's taking me some time to get used to saying that instead of 999. Anyways, um, I did look up some stuff about the names of some of our characters. So I was right about some things. Uh, Sigma is the 18th letter of the Greek alphabet. It has a value of 200 in Greek numerals. I don't know if that's a factor at all. And uh, in math, it's used primarily as like the summation operator. So it's like the sum of things. Uh, phi is the 21st Greek letter and that's who we're paired with, right? Red pair three was our bracelet. It's 500 in Greek numerals. And it is, it's used for a lot of things in, in math, like a lot of uh, symbols and a lot of formulas, but it also represents the golden ratio in math. Um, Alice, I mean, obvious connection to 999, uh, but we'll see how that, that pans out. I was right about quark. It's, uh, it's a, an elementary particle, so it's used as like, it's a building block for like protons and neutrons, not electrons, like I said. Um, Dio is actually the Italian word for God, according to what I saw, so that's, that could be pretty meaningful, that could be pretty meaningful, and also it's, uh, an American heavy metal band. I don't think that's going to be a factor, though. Luna, uh, obviously connection to the moon, and then we have, uh, Tembioji, who, I don't know, I don't know what that means. I should have, you know what, I should have looked that up. I, I should have looked that up in Japanese, but I was afraid that I might find like some spoilers or something, so I didn't bother. And um, the other thing to, to consider is that there might be some translation things. Uh, I know there were some in 999, some of the localization people decided to change names and stuff like that. So it, there might have been something different in uh, Japan, but uh, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they made this game um, like localized right away. Maybe there wasn't like as many leaps by the locals localization team so kind of cool uh background on some of the names for those of you that haven't played the game before those of you that have played it before obviously you know what these characters are all about and um just want to mention again i have the comments off just to avoid spoilers people suggesting things but i did consult with someone that i trust that i know is not going to spoil me about the files and they said there's like some spoilers for things we might find out soon so on and so forth and they suggested to just not bother reading them until we finish the game so that's what i'm gonna do i'll probably just do an episode where i read them all and it'll be kind of a good reminder maybe about what happened in the game maybe a good discussion point okay let's get started so any chance this one will open <laughs> you think we'd have done it last if there was there's some sort of i don't know machine off to the left here, but... Well, give it a shot, why don't you? This guy's got some, some attitude. Hmm. Looks like force probably isn't going to work either. Oh, that sound. That sound is, like, directly from 999. That's, the, that's like, the boat creaking sound. So many memories. Damn. Well, I, I didn't really think that it'd work anyway. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. All right, well, how about those three doors over there? I told you already. Ugh. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. You sure about that? Why would I lie? Hmm. Okay, are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found anyway. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. And that is? I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. Okay, that could be important. I watched all of you come out after all. She has this look on her face like she knows what's going on here. And? Well, I was in the one third from the right. Okay. Tenmyoji was the second out. 
Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes. Uh, that reminds me, I should, I need to grab a pen here. In case I need to write something down. Usually I have this ready ahead of time, but I forgot. I know I've got those notes as well that I can use. But those, it's a bit cumbersome to write on those, so I might, I might actually write some stuff down as well. What if this is gonna spell something out? That's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in the third elevator from the left. Oh, wait. Does that mean that there's one that hasn't opened yet? <laughs> wait, then... Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Oh, oh, uh oh. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Yeah, good idea. Hey? A anybody in there? If you can hear me, just... Uh, I, I don't know. Make some noise. Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex. Room. Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. There's one next to each door! What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? The, the rabbit zero called it like the nonary game ambidex version right something like that well it says it on all six of the elevators maybe it has something to do with the game that zero was talking about oh the nonary game ambidex edition ambidex edition <laughs> maybe maybe not I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? <sighs> nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. Not really true. You're wearing clothing. Oh. It's like a... It's like a lift there, like a claw lift. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. One thing to consider from 999 is these were like June's or Akane's comments when we went into these modes, I believe, right? It was like her narrating. So... I don't know if that's going to be that's going to be like a thing here. What does it say? Two milkmen go comedy? Ooh. Is that like supposed to be like a, a riddle or something? Maybe there's no one in there. No, there is. There's got to be. What makes you so sure? Huh? Uh, well... Um... What's that? Because it just opened up. <laughs> Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Another super jumper. <laughs> what? What the... Who the hell? Clover! Ooh, wait a second. Clover. 
What is this guy dressed in? Is he, is he like actually a robot? <laughs> Clover. And how does how does Alice know who she is? Are you okay? Was was Alice in the original Nunnery game? What is she wearing? Clover. Wake up. What what's what's going on here? Do these two know each other? This must be like an internal thought. What did you do to her? Nothing. It's it's Bane from Batman. She was like that when I woke up. Okay, now it's not that bad. I really wouldn't worry though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. What the hell is going on here? Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Whoa, hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? Uh, why, are you a robot? <laughs> you leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl and we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way I think you owe us an explanation pal I'm hmm. who am I what I don't remember I don't remember anything I think if I didn't remember who I was, I'd probably take the mask off if I could. Maybe you can't though. Is he wearing a bracelet too? Can't really see his arm. I have no idea where I am, who I am, or even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you shared that information. Not knowing one's identity is vexing. I mean, we know the, I guess we know the date that we're kidnapped on but we don't really know what day it is now it could be much later oh yeah very original the amnesiac routine <laughs> please <laughs> just making fun of 999 how are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this this i wonder if it might i wonder if it's gonna be seven that would be that'd be a nice a nice twist this robot suit. We can't even see your face. Or snake. Who's snake? Are you gonna tell someone forced you into that thing? Left arm is like kind of concealed by this cape thing. I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. Kind of talks like snake too. Like it's very. I mean, obviously he's like mimicking a robot, but snake also kind of had like this very matter-of-fact way of speaking, like very. Um, very logical. When I woke up, I was wearing this armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run with like the seven theory. I think this is probably or not seven, um the uh the snake theory. I think this might be snake. You know what I meant, you smartass. Because we got Clover here, right? We got Clover. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, oh, she's waking up. Clover! Are you okay? Come on, talk to me! Uh, this... She recognizes her too. Okay. At the end of 999, we, we saw Alice, right? So... Did they look the same though? I'm gonna have to go back and look. Well, it's possible that they like struck up a friendship after 999, right? Where are we? Probably sounds like her. Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. 
So if this, um, like, I, I do want to bring up the fact that, like, I don't think, well, I guess maybe we do know when 999 took place, because there was that talk of, like, like, it happened nine years after the original events. I'm not sure if we got a date on the, like, kidnapping, though, or any dates at all. So, I'm not sure, like, how much later this takes place, if it takes place later. It must, uh, must take place later. So, like, I don't know. We'll find out. But, um, unless Clover, if it does play, take place after, unless Clover has, like, amnesia also, she should be able to, like, inform us about the Donary game. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the Donary game, and then her eyes went wide. What? No. No, that can't... The blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. We asked him everything we could think of. Birthday, address, occupation. I mean, clearly he's a robot. That's his occupation. Family, childhood. But all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. <laughs> Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> okay, the way that he said that, that sounded like Junpei. Just the, just the, like, the cadence of what he said reminded me a lot of, of Junpei. Oh, uh, they're gonna play with, they're just playing with us, aren't they? They're just gonna mess with us the whole game and they're gonna reveal it at the end. He was making a laughing sort of noise, but his expression didn't change. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not, but his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man, per se. Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm, like ours, and not simply part of his suit. And just like ours, his had a three on it. Okay, so who... Well, he's got to be paired with Clover, right? Uh, I wrote down the different bracelets here. Uh, Temyoji had the green three, but solo. What else had green? It does look like it's part of his armor, though. It said pair below the three, and all the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head. My brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours? Days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me. 
giving me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be three right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped, and we wouldn't have had the first idea. Damn it! No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, well, I just thought... There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. It does say lock on it. I think that's likely. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh? Hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. No, oh, man, I have no idea what that means. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Is that blood or is that paint also? Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians? I mean, two, like, you just, just say pairs, so that implies a pair. Go comedy. So two of something go somewhere, right? Two, so one of the paired ones? Uh, Milkman maybe references a color, but there's no white. Comedy, um, I don't know if that translates to like a number or a color, but it's in red, so maybe it's the red people, the red pairs need to go somewhere. So it just sounds like kind of like nonsense though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Uh, what? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I, I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. Uh... An anagram? Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? Oh, Telegram? She's like... The one thing that I noticed, like, uh, I missed, like, a reference last time. Um, she said Witch King, which is, like, a Lord of the Rings reference, I guess. Five might be just, like, full of references that I'm probably going to miss, like, 99% of. You've never heard of an anagram. I know what an anagram is. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Couldn't have explained Exactly. That Watch. That thought had crossed my mind, but... With the tip of her boot, Phi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor. That's interesting. So it's dusty. Okay. I don't know if that was mentioned, but that would mean that, you know, the facility was built and then just left alone for a while. Oh. Come. Okay. Two comes. A welcome to my kingdom. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. She did that fast. Oh, okay. If you switch it around. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh huh. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Well, now I'm, like, thinking about what else is an anagram. Maybe some of the names are? I'll have to think about that. Yeah, but... What's on the, uh, what's on the ground there? Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True, but you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. They seem surprised. W what? <laughs> huh? 
Huh? Look. Over there. Shame on you, Fido. Fido? You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it. <laughs> Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although, things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? I'm not sure how I feel about the Zero Rabbit. It, it just reminds me a lot of Danganronpa and Monokuma. Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? I guess God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> then you're saying Zero is one of us? Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. Haha. <laughs> okay, oh, hold on, I just want to see. Uh, there's, what, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine now. Yeah. So we have, we know we know everyone. Assuming that there's nine people in this game, um, I guess there could be more. What? I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent. <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> Say? The game, of course! <laughs> oh, the nonary game. Ambidex edition? Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No. It's supposed to be over. Here she goes again. Oh man, she has like, right now, she has like a maniacal look in her eyes. I don't know why they made her dress that way. Um, it kind of bugs me. She knows something. So, what is the Nonary game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you. That's your goal. If you can open the door with a nine on it, you can escape. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See? 
See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to 9 dp can pull that lever and the door will open. However, there are three rules you can't forget. What? The number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically. So be careful. Two. The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds. So if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho. If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door. And I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen. If you think you can be sneaky, well... <laughs> well, what? Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. Any bunny that got. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Down in front. I'll tell you later. Um. Yes. Why did you start making rabbit puns? Because it, it's a rabbit. Uh. Well. Um. <laughs> Cause I felt like it. I thought it might make me sound cute. Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh, elevators? So we're, we like power up our bracelets in this? Gold star. So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. <laughs> you mean through those hatches? No. I had a hunch you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this old warren are under my control. How do we get in then? Try the doors on the front, they're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. But where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Uh, oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you'll find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> chromatic doors? Also known as CDs. Right here! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Quirk. What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? Uh, hey, what's this number? The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No. Numbers are going down. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So... That would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding, 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 ding! Very impressive, Ten Mioli! <laughs> no. Alright! That wasn't Let's a lot of fun. Let's review what we learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. I, uh, hate this rabbit. 
<laughs> already. However, just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. <laughs> what? Each door in this warren has a twin. Isn't that nice? Chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. My my controller ran out of battery, so I have to use the mouse. Okay. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too. <laughs> Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Cleaver. Can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Cleaver, is that supposed to be like a rabbit slaughtering pun? Because that's pretty, that's pretty dark. Why are you asking me? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Oh, I see. So we're good. It's just to combine with the other people to make colors to get into Now, the answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well, y you mean red, green, and blue? You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow? Green and red. What if you wanted cyan? Blue and green. That's right! Now, take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. We get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you rabbit. That's like, that doesn't work at all. Rabbit. There is one other little thing though. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yep. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Want to open a door, but you, all you've got is one color, and you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. the opposite okay hmm I see so if you've got red and red then you can open the cyan door oh okay okay I kind of misunderstood that oh, okay blue and blue can open the yellow door and green and green can open the magenta door Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, Ten Mioli. Uh, just what the hell's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Quite the compliment. Oh well. Let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets. Pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. Okay. Two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. Isn't 
Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one! <laughs> Unfortunately, that also means they can't split up. Aww. Both members of the pair have to go through the same chromatic door. Okay. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. Wow, that's a pretty big deal. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. And that means that they can go wherever they want. Yay! Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. We'll start with you, Siggy. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode here and we're going to continue with Zero's uh, slightly annoying explanation on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lucas Lovelock signing out for now. And I love you all. <laughs>